Hi guys, it's Krista. Um, I would like to introduce you to our newest family member. We picked him up last night. He is 11 weeks old. This is Bear. Say hi. Hi. He is super sweet and we absolutely love him and he's fitting in great to the family so far, but he's only been here a night. So maybe we'll give you guys an update later on how he's transitioning and all of that. Um, but I guess for now, we will jump right into the video. So what I want to talk about this video are some things that I regret getting for baby stuff for Leo. Uh, so the first thing on that list would be the baby wipe warmer. Um, we got a diaper wipe warmer to keep the diaper wipes warm. And it was just more of a hassle to use than I probably should have committed to that early on with having a baby. So that is probably something that we personally won't be doing again. Plus, I mean, the pros for it were just like, the baby gets a warm wipe, which was nice for a little bit, I guess. But it really wasn't too awfully necessary because it was warm in the house anyways. So it's not like they were ice cold. Um... So yeah, so that is one thing that I definitely don't plan on getting again for our next children. All right, so then I think after that, the thing that I regret, which really was a surprise for me, is I regret us getting uh, cloth diapers. Um, so we got cloth diapers and then we had kind of a family tragedy strike shortly after we had Leo. And so there went a few months there where I was really busy and I didn't really have time to use the cloth diapers. And then after that, I had just kind of grown accustomed to using the disposables and I don't think I could go back. I don't think that I could go to using cloth diapers after using disposable for so long and they just they're so much less of a hassle you don't have to worry about cleaning them and yes that makes me lazy but I accept being lazy <laughs> in this scenario so yeah I actually regret getting my cloth diapers I also really regret getting pacifiers so we got a pacifier for Leo and we gave it to him pretty much right away um, and he did really well with it and it was actually really soothing to him and it was really helpful that first night to get him to go to sleep because he was having a really hard time actually sleeping and it was helping me a lot because I was able to sleep. However, the second night we ran into issues because he decided that my nipples were not hard enough and that the pacifier was the kind of texture he wanted and so he did not want to breastfeed and it killed me and he just wouldn't breastfeed no matter what I did I couldn't convince this boy to breastfeed and the hungrier he got the worse it got and he was just yelling and angry and it was it was not a good mix and so I very much so regret giving him that pacifier. We were able to get things settled out and I stopped giving him the pacifiers and he started breastfeeding again, but it was definitely a challenge and I just, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, just if you are going to give your baby a pacifier or something like that, I would try to wait at least a few weeks, let them get used to you and nursing because it just was not, it was not great. And I never thought that I would have to struggle with nipple confusion, but I totally did. Luckily in our case, after we stopped giving Leo the pacifier, he was all fine, but I know that that doesn't quite work out for everybody. So just be warned, and uh, that is definitely something that I won't be doing for our future children. So this next one I feel like is pretty well talked about and pretty common knowledge now, um, but a baby walker. Um, and I'm not talking about the ones that like you push or anything. I'm talking about like the ones you sit your baby in and they've got wheels on the bottom and they can 
walk around in them before they actually learn to walk. So that's actually really bad for their muscle development and it can actually prohibit them from learning how to walk sooner. So that's something that they actually recommend that you don't keep your baby in for more than like 10, 15 minutes at a time. And that's like for the day, that's their day amount of use. And so we just, we had one, but we never really used it because I had done some research into him and I was just not for it. And he enjoyed being on the floor more honestly than in his walker, which could have just been a Leo thing. But you know, I just don't think it's, uh, it's worth the risk of prolonging the development. So the last thing that I regret getting for my baby is, drum roll please, a baby bouncer. Um, so this is one of the ones that's just a chair and it's kind of at an incline like this and you put the baby in it and it bounces up and down and kind of soothes them or at least it's supposed to. So this isn't necessarily something that I wouldn't recommend getting for your kids or any of that. It's just something that personally for my last child, Leo, didn't work for him at all. He hated it in there. He would wriggle and wriggle so much that he would just wriggle right out of his chair and I had to worry about him hitting the ground and it just wasn't worth it. I just, I decided it was in my best interest to just lay him on the floor or to just hold him because honestly that's what I did most of his babyhood is I just held him because I, I really didn't mind. Obviously the more kids I have that's not going to be as plausible but uh, yeah no he absolutely hated his baby bouncer. So that is it for things I regret getting for baby number one and probably won't be getting for baby number two. Uh, please let me know what things you regretted for getting for your baby down in the comments. Also, let me know if you want an update video on how Bear's doing and how he's growing into our lovely home. And don't forget to go and check out the previous video that is about baby things that I love and some of my favorite baby things that I got for Leo when he was a baby and things I will definitely be using again for this little one. Well, I think that's going to do us for this video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.